boons for you as well because all of these players, Ixes, uh, Quick, me, myself, Meru, uh, we're all here to play with all of these, all of these beautiful Swiss players. I've played so many of the of the of the Swiss players. Thank you. You're 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 the pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, fans. This is, this is such an honor to be called um, Freddy from the the blondest hair dude I've ever seen in my the life. The blondest. <laughs> it's white. It's not even blonde oh, yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so Kepler versus Shui Shock, and this is actually a funny matchup. Uh, Kepler has beaten Shui Shock before, from what he's told me. Um, but the main the main point here is that Kirby versus Bayonetta is like a really weird matchup to play. Because Bayonetta kind of destroys Kirby, and then Kirby inhales her, oh. and then she, she she gets camped. She oh, gets super okay, out camped. This is so silly. I, I didn't even <laughs> just as I said it, it happened. Look at that, the gun's coming out. <laughs> Kirby can shield cancel that as well. And where usually you can crouch under them uh, when Bayo's playing the guns, it's very hard to crouch under Kirby's guns because he's such a short character. I see. Oh, this is so silly, actually. I love it. <laughs> this is all Kirby was designed for. Oh, all right, all right, and um, I'm looking forward to it because you know, Justin Shark is this kind of player that uh, sometimes just come out and make this awesome performance, oh, yeah. gets these upsets in with such an obscure character as well. I'm not yep. sure Kepler is ready for that. Well, as as I've said before, Kepler has played Justin Shark before, and he has won those matchups. He has also played uh, Muck, the Dutch Kirby, before, so he is very familiar with Kirby as a matchup. But ooh, that. But, ooh, that forward smash though. Well, that was a little bit of a miss input by Kepler, and we did see those come out in the set versus Quick as well. So that is kind of an, uh, an unfortunate way to go out for Kepler here, but he's not out quite yet. He still has that one stock in this game. Oh, that and one stock that's uh, dropping out very fast with those options, and that back yeah. here, 50% already on 54 and, co and counting. Just we shocked, definitely looking strong here. Look at all those all those combos, all those pushed advantage states that he is putting on the board here. And Kepler, on the other hand, he's kind of struggling to get something going. Look at that down to two upper, not gonna kill quite yet. Nice crush up with that back air, Ooh, trying to find something. That's something I've seen Kepler do twice now. Very smart, S-O. Oh. Okay, so the Swiss Shock up 1-0. Let me and finish that train of thought yeah, real yeah, quick. Yeah, go ahead. Yours, right, you, you, so you, you. Every time the Swiss Shock goes for the guns, Kepler jumps over them and goes for the down angled yeah. uh, AVK. Yeah, and that's sense. such a strong option because it's yeah. such a strong burst of movement. Gets right over the projectile. And while it wasn't enough to win that game, we did see quite a few uh, unfortunate miss inputs by Kepler. And I'm really looking for him to clean those up coming into game two here. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about that because, uh, like you said, it doesn't look like a too easy of a matchup for Kirby, but uh, just with Shock making it work, and and uh, we didn't mention it before, we didn't underline it before, but that was a two stock. That was that was a two stock. That was most Shock. definitely a two stock with Jesus two smashes to round out both stocks as well. Uh, just with Shock showing a lot of confidence right here. Look at those guns coming out. Kepler not gonna be able to interrupt, but he is gonna get the punish on the whiff fourth smash. Just with Shock just a little bit too anxious to get those punishes in, and even percents right now. Such a nice combo, like a, such a nice Ooh. string coming from Kepler in order to yeah, get these percentages uh, even again. Once now again, I mean, uh, Shisui Shock getting whip punished for a smash. I really want to see him go for a little bit of a more methodical, balanced approach. Ooh. And Ooh. Yeah, that hurts though. That That's hurts. what Bayonetta does, especially yep. on Time and City. Yep. All right, then Kepler's. Uh, I'm not sure we can talk about adaptation, really. That was just a Bayonetta thing. Or oh, yeah. That, but, I mean, he reacted to the DI very well. That's for sure. Uh, Kepler is, is very good at that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've played him a qu quite a bit myself, and I really do appreciate that about him. He's one of the best in Europe uh, in terms of Bayonetta's in reacting to DI. And just we shock on the other hand. Um, very good player. Not the best SDI on that combo. And I really not, wonder yeah. if that is a mix-up kind of thing. Or it's the next time that he's gonna get tagged by the Bayo combo just like that. If he's the SDI, still gonna be bad, still gonna get zero death by Bayonetta. And I mean, let's be honest, we don't like Bayonetta, but when your SDI looks like that, you kinda deserve it. Yeah, you can't blame that. That's the thing. Can't That's blame a that. Poor style. What I really want to see is we Shock do some more to counteract those combos is um, SDI down and away. Yeah. So from like 70 to 80% onwards, if you SDI down and away, uh, Bayonetta just doesn't get any follow-ups whatsoever. Yep. And when she does get the, that side B, 
if you SDI full back, the only follow-up she gets is a back air, which right basically yeah, yeah. ends her combo right there. Or another side B. Yeah. And then on the other side B, you SDI full in once again. And just like the first side B, she either back airs or the combo is yep. over. Um, so there's oh, see. Basically, you're, you're getting hit by a lot of damage, but you're not dying. Exactly, and that's exactly what you need to do when you're playing as Bayonetta. She won't get a lot of combo starters if you play it well, and those that she gets, you just have to accept she's going to get a lot of damage. Just make sure you don't kick the bucket. Yeah. I see, and just we shock, uh, not sure he heard you, but he's definitely uh, showing some confidence and, and starting strong, 98% already. And no <laughs> heel slide. <laughs> yeah, no heel slide. It's oh, and the just final just hit is going to mix oh, it up right there. That was punish game, best punish game from Kepler. It just uh, <laughs> actually shielded it, escaped it, came back no, in the Oh, he that jumped, jumped into the charge Jesus. up smash. Just we shock. He's just in another dimension with these reads. I have no idea what's going on. I have no oh, idea what's going oh, on for that fair, working. Fair one to reset the combo. But the single hit up, he actually messed him up right there. And that's a shame for Kepler because he definitely had the right idea. But it's so hard to predict whether you get those hit, uh, single hit uppies or not. And just like that, Kepler that evens though. it back up. Kirby, he does have a lot of jumps, but he does not have the greatest recovery. Nope, sir. He actually got, uh, I think it was 60%. He actually got killed at 60%. Oh, really, yeah, and that was really nice pure, pure yeah. gimps. Yeah, just pure gimps. And look at that. Once again, just we shot kind of SDIing into the follow-ups, but uh, the percentages and the hits just didn't quite pan up. That single hit once again. Kind of messing up the combo, but Kepler still getting maximum damage out of it. Which time, a little bit anxious on that one. Yeah, then just we shot trying to find the opening, holding the stage control. Kepler just jumping around, and that oh, forward and smash again. Such a good see, reaction. Such oh, a good oh, oh, oh! This should be it. Oh no, no, no! It was a, it was, it was a definitely a still which time right there. So one thing that Kepler is doing uh, that he really should look. Uh, look to fix here is he's landing on the stage a lot and every time he does just we shock punish him for it mm. Just like that. He got forward tilted there. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. got forward smashed earlier this stock and he has he has three static platforms Three of them just sitting there waiting to get landed on and that's gonna make punishing a lot harder for Kirby Because he's not gonna land any smashes especially on that middle platform they just don't reach. His limbs are too small. And if Kepler keeps landing on stage or cornering himself like that, those are the situations that your sweet shock is going to utilize to the maximum. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you can get by up air. Uh, if you're doing it right, uh, only up air and, and forward I can really hit you. But uh, the There's all a the back other air kids, as yeah. well, but if you land That's on the thing. middle if platform especially. Exactly. If you, if you do it right, like you have so many options in order not to land um, uh, to, to kill this back. So basically, you have all the options uh, to avoid uh, Kirby's kill moves, and yep, exactly. he's not using them. Instead he's not of using that, them. he's landing on stage, and that's a bad look for Kepler. Definitely. And uh, well, very nice showing again uh, from Jesse Shock, taking on with Kirby, taking on one of uh, the best bios in Europe. Yep. And actually uh, going up 2 1. Is it 2 1? It's 2 it one. Is two yep. 1. All right, so what kind of stage can we expect? Uh, okay. okay, Smashville again? So we're going back to basics for Kepler. Basics. I really like this decision. Um, a lot of the issues he's had haven't been because of the stage. It hasn't Definitely been not, yeah. because of the way he plays the stage. It's just been like general matchup decisions like landing on the ground rather than on platform. And outside of final destination, you're going to find platforms everywhere. And even on final, he can retreat to the ledge. And it's going to be very hard for Kirby to do anything about that. Because as soon as Bayonetta overshoots that a B, she can basically plank Kirby and force Kirby to back off the single hit up B. Okay, Kepler, so much damage. Reading the air dodge, getting maximum yeah. damage indeed. Very well done. And so much and damage. And Shot being very smart, going back to the ledge. Just not going to give Kepler too much. Once again, the single hit up B. I don't know if Sweet Shot is doing that on purpose, but it's working out really well for him. Jesus. And all that damage came in from a uh, Su Combo is Mi Combo moment. Yep, exactly. Just uh, uh, air dodging uh, the up tilts from Joshi Shock and getting an RP and 111% and coming in from Kepler just from that moment. This is such strong punish game we're seeing from the Swiss player. On the other hand, Shisui Shock is definitely looking to make something happen. Once again, Kepler landing on stage with that witch time and Shisui Shock is ready with the up tilt, trying to get a little bit of momentum going and Shisui Shock scared for the back air. Oh, and, and the run yep. from there, that's going to cover a lot of options right there. Yep, yep, just drop down and press A. Welcome to Bayonetta, boys. Kepler executing it perfectly, yep. finding that first talk, and now sitting pretty on that platform. Oh, Once again, the inhale, and this is going to open up some new options versus Sweet Shock. However, the combo starter once again coming out. 
Ooh, that oh, SDI and yeah. the single hit this time, just not quite working out for the Swiss Shock. Yeah, that, that looks rough. That looks rough, definitely. But just once again, just the uh, the SDI not quite there for just definitely, Shock. Definitely not. Yeah, uh, I think, I, I mean, could be... Usually Floaties have a hard time escaping, but Kirby has such a, a small, small body for box sure. that yep. he can actually make it out. And uh, Juicy Shock has some flows about that, and um, that's usually not something you are able to uh, learn during a during game. A game no. no, so we're going to see that again. is definitely yeah. a studying kind S of thing. The thing I want to see from Juicy Shock, if you want to see him win, is not drop the up tilt combos. This is the only thing that actually gets him the edge. Exactly. He actually dropped one and got hit for 111%. This is a tragedy for Kirby. That's this is the only thing a big he has. Swing. Yeah, this is a huge swing. So, 2-2, two, two, game five on Smashville again. What is Jussie Shock uh, gonna try this time? So I'm really looking for Jussie Shock here to just play patient and wait for Kepler to make those mistakes that got him the two wins. Oh, that got Jussie Shock the two wins that uh, that are on the board right now. Oh, just what just happened? Oh. He got hit. How did he reach time I mean, in the middle of the of the? Of the it's fine though. Combos. That's not a lot of damage. Just Swiss Shock just has to make it back to neutral. Uh, okay, 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 okay. He's still alive. Yeah, really good boys. Oh, the upbeat. Okay, <laughs> so he gets a little bit of a punish as well. And just like that, Kepler once again being uh, too anxious with the witch time and just Swiss Shock immediately with the punish. And he really needs to get those situations going more often. He really needs to play more patient and try to force those situations that have given him the edge all this time. Yeah, Kepler is making it like uh, much, much harder to actually get in the, those. Like every time he's uh, in a melee range, he goes for a quick, uh, not risky option like uh, that down tilt. And well, until that second down tilt, he just escaped with yep. Lapia and that thing. And uh, well, every time he goes for a second one or commits for something uh, just a bit too long, just to shot capitalizing very well. But I think Kepler has something in mind there, just uh, avoid Ooh, that. Ooh, the walk-up grab, such confidence by Kepler. However, Kirby is reaching those percents where it starts getting hard for Bayonetta to kill. Down tilt up air, probably not a confirm anymore at these percents. And at that, those percents, that oh. is when oh. Kirby can make it happen. All the rage and such great presence of mind by Jesu Shock. The reversal of situation. Just with Shock actually getting jumped and somehow getting the backer, but Kepler coming in yep. strong with uh, a backer of his own. Just with Shock definitely not ready for that boost kick or boost kick. No, <laughs> almost. The, almost uh, boost kick. the aerial side B, obviously. And when you're not ready for that aerial side B, it is going to true combo into a back air or up air. And it's gonna oh, is it going to be hit? it? Oh, okay, okay. He didn't go for another up B. I'm not, I'm not even sure he had another one, but that up air looks kind of scary anyway. It definitely looks scary, but Jisoo Shock is alive and well. Definitely still on the board here. Only a 30% only a deficit that he's looking at right now. All right, and, just, and Shock. Kepler, he's looking to play it extremely patient right now, and mm. I really like that. And he has a plan for everything Jesse Shock has thrown at him so far. Yep. Like uh, avoiding every object oh. and all that stuff. Oh. Oh. Look at this. Oh, no, Good not just the eye on the yep. second up B. Yeah, finally, giving his life on his stick and uh, avoiding the uh, the ladder combo. Jesse Shock finding some uh, some percent now. Without up B, no spike though. That could have been hit for our Swiss player. The back air, still grinding some percent. Kepler. Sitting on that platform and looking for to slow down the game for a moment. And I really like it. When Kepler plays slow, he has a lot of time to think, he has a lot of time to adjust. And I think that is one of his strong points as a player. Kepler right now should retreat to the platform, just take his time again. Don't put yourself in the corner, my man. That is where Kirby gets those early, early kills. Oh. Just as I said it, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, almost that, that situation. This, that looks so very scary. The back air, the forward smash, you need to respect them. Stay in the middle of the stage, all that platform. Oh, he's landing on the, pl on the ground again, and just we shot so ready to make the, the most of that situation. And just oh. like that, just we so shot close. definitely in the lead right now. And he's so, he's so confident, so very confident. That down tilt into upper is a confirm, but will not kill just yet. We're in a Four slam throw. situation. Is that going to be it on Smashville? Not quite. Kirby's still living. And once again, as I've mentioned before, this is going to be those percents where it's hard to get a kill confirmed. Oh, is that an up throw? No platform. No. The platform moved away just in time. The Becker barely whiffing. Kepler definitely out for blood right now. And just we shot. He did oh. not the eye correctly. And the Kepler poker. getting the kill. 3-2 to two to Switzerland. Very, very strong showing from both players. What a fight. Wow. What a fight and what a pop-off from Silent Gaming Kepler enjoying his win at the moment. What a fight. Just Shock put up 
against one of the best wow. Bayonettas in Europe. Jesus Christ, is that... Not so silent after all. No, no, not, not so, so silent, silent after, after all. all. Jesus Christ. Good call by Boss the RTO. Oh. <laughs> that was such a great showing and especially Ooh. at the end.